there guys, Colin here. Now pay attention to this video, it contains some never before seen product. Now you may have seen my reviews of Dragon's Heart guitar picks up here and my first look at Gravity picks a while back so you'll know that high quality guitar picks are kinda my thing. So obviously when I did those some people said hey why don't you check out chicken picks? So I decided to do so. Contacted them and have sent me some product to review right here. Currently available in the Chicken Picks range are three guitar picks from the original series, that's Light, Regular and Shredder. However, they've got two new pick designs ready to drop at the Anaheim Nam show, which from time of filming is next week. That's the 22nd to 25th of January 2015 for any of you cyber future people who are watching this in July. This is what they're calling the Tritone series, it's made up of the designs The Badass 3, and the Bermuda 3. So you're getting picks that are kind of similar to your Jazz 3 and your old Triangular Gibson style picks. So consider this a bit of an exclusive first look at Chicken Pick's new products. Included in their package was this sticker that says, Warning, this pick is not for everybody. And I'm going to let that statement hang over this video because I have a feeling these picks are going to be quite divisive. <laughs> argument behind chicken picks. They're saying why are you spending thousands of pounds, dollars or beer bottle tops, whatever your preferred currency is, on guitars and amps when you're using a throwaway piece of plastic for your guitar pick. So they're saying high quality guitar picks, spend a bit of money and your tone is going to improve. And that is certainly, certainly true. So with that sort of mission statement, it's no surprise that these guitar picks are made from a very tough thermoplastic which is going to stand up to a lot of abuse on your guitar. They're claiming years, but I've only had them for a couple of hours, so I'm sorry, I can't verify that one. All the picks are in excess of 2mm thickness, and that makes them fantastic for things like country music because you don't get the flex from a flexible pick, and your response time is very quick and very rapid, and it gives you an even response across all the strings. It also makes them great for heavy metal riffing, sweet picking, and other techniques where you need a quick, even response across all the strings. The original pick set features the light at 2.2mm, the regular at 2.6mm and the shredder which is 13% smaller at 35 which gives you a good range of flexibility within the standard guitar pick format. Having long ago abandoned regular sized guitar picks, I find that the light and regular picks in this range are just a bit too big and cumbersome for the way I play. However, the shredder lives up to its name in being able to be a little bit more manoeuvrable and faster, although I'm not a fan of the shape, but still a fantastic pick, and if you're into your regular shaped guitar picks, definitely check these out. <laughs> On to the new Tritone series then, and we've got the Badass 3. The Badass 3 is certainly taking a lot of influence from the Jazz 3, the Dunlop Jazz 3, which a lot of you will be very familiar with, and it may even be your favourite guitar pick at the moment, until you've tried something like the Chicken Picks or the Gravity Sunrise. Both of these guitar picks have a very similar shape, and both of them will blow your Jazz 3 completely out the water. And then there's their Bermuda pick, a very triangular pick, very reminiscent of the old triangular Dunlops and Gibson picks that you used to see kicking about all over the place, which I've not seen for a long time. Where have those gone? I would say these two new shapes are designed with a modern player in mind, especially those playing in the heavy metal and rock genres. So certainly check these out when these drop at NAM. It would be very easy to have a couple of guitar picks slip through the net, especially with Ibanez bringing out a new 20 string guitar and Gibson putting another robotic thing in there so you don't have to play the guitar at all. These guitar picks, certainly check them out, look out for them and don't let them slip through the net. 
Tonally, these picks have a very equal response across all the frequencies, unlike what you'll find in other picks where they'll have a very sharp attack or they'll have a very warm uh, body to them. These picks seem to be very even in their frequency response, which is great, again, for your country music, where you want all of the sounds to be quite even across all the strings. This is um, a great thing if you're wanting evenness across your tonality. <laughs> For my money, if I had to choose a favourite between this set, it would have to be the Badass 3. It's very similar in shape to the Gravity Sunrise, which I've been losing for a little while, so maybe I'm a little bit biased, but this one certainly feels best for my playing style. Um, great picks for people who are wanting tonal equality across all their strings and good resilience. I'll probably put one of these into the torture test with the Dragon's Heart picks I'm filming at the moment, um, so you'll see just how well they stand up against the Dragon's Heart switch currently are my favourite guitar pick, but these are doing a great job and maybe you'll like them more than I do. So if you're still looking for your new favourite guitar pick and it's got to be thick, rigid and durable, then certainly check out Chicken Picks, um, especially the new range they'll be bringing out at the end of the month at the NAMM show. Now as we said at the start, not for everybody, but that certainly doesn't mean it. don't try them. Get your hands on a few and see if you like them, and if you don't, don't worry, there's other high quality guitar pick brands out there so you can always find your favourite somewhere else. I'll leave a link here to the Chicken Picks website and as usual it will be in the description box below as well as will all my social media and everything like that if you want to click there and follow me. Also, hey look, hey look, there's a subscribe button. You can subscribe and see all the other content I'll be bringing out, including some torture tests of the Dragon's Heart guitar picks that I reviewed a little while ago, and I'll maybe even include some of these chicken picks into that review. So please subscribe to check all that out. Follow me on the social media, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And um, if I don't see you, keep it loud. <laughs>